it's a past hour. Start noon. And I'm going to call this September 12th, regular monthly public utility commission meeting to order. Our agenda is before us. We're going to start with the prayer and invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. We're going to ask Commissioner Dankel to lead us in prayer and invocation. We're going to ask our mayor to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Let us all stand. session meeting of June 7th and July 6th, 2016. May I hear your pleasure? I move the acceptance if there are no corrections. and call meeting of July 18th and 21st. May we take them together, Attorney? Yes. Okay. What's your pleasure on those meetings? I move that we approve those minutes and call them. And second, that we will approve the minutes of those meetings as written. Do we have any questions? Not a call for a vote. All those in favor, let it be known by a show of hands. All right. The next act, act, item on our agenda will be our activity reports for the month of August, and we will uh, follow our general manager's direction on that. I understand that we're going to have uh, E and F items. E and F will not be reporting tonight from our IT and telecommunications department. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, then we will follow the order of the reports unless there's a, a regret. Kathy Johnson, uh, Lee? Yes, I think I get to do it tonight. Okay, yes, good. Um, um, I, I promise I'll try not to jump, Mayor. Closing <laughs> those blinds may have helped us, but that noise still Oh. <laughs> You had my written reports of what we had done for the month, but I think I can really sum up what most of the staff in the county and Kathy and a lot of other the people that the commission have been involved in with one simple word, but, you know, we have been consumed head over heels with that, and, you know, we did present it to you at the last work session, and we'll be answering questions for you at a later date on that. Yeah. Are there any questions for Lee and his, and his team? Thank you, Lee. Um, customer service, Sue Roach. I think a long one in the background. Do we need to take cover of what? Um, Any 
question for um, customer service. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Director of Operations, Andrew Luna. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I've, I've summarized here um, in our notes my activities for the month, but what's very important is that I've been working on um, continuing to create a positive relationship with the Development Authority, the Chicago Development Authority. I've gone to several meetings with them and tried to help them um, with bringing in more economic The Natural Gas Department is next. That's the uh, county. Taco. With the gas department for the morning, uh, action, uh, we actually been working on repairing three uh, pipeline leaks, uh, College Street and Middle Street, and Knoxville and Dineville and Elder Street. Uh, we repaired three major leaks. LED lights in that area to see if they were what we wanted to use, which provided real bright light. It was on Cortland, on the Cortland Avenue, the street that I live on, really. Down on that end, it was very dark. We brought an, uh, an external light in uh, down this way, but but that was a that was a light that was installed right down in that part that was very bright. Uh, and I, it was my understanding that we were testing those out in various places. And maybe you can find out for me where we are with that. Okay, because it didn't it didn't shine like it had been shining <laughs> when we needed it. It may be that the LEDs are very directional. Right. Uh, there's not a whole lot of ambient light for the LEDs, and that that may be what you're experiencing. It used to be brighter than what I saw on Saturday night. <laughs> It was it been an LED, then yeah. it had to be something else. Something else. We'll, we'll check into it. Okay. All right. Any other questions or concerns? All right. Well, we're talking about lights. One of those LED lights is on my street, and I know that it has failed already. Uh, I'm sure you are probably aware of it. Um, I think we had five that were given to us, maybe, to, to try to see what like them and, and what their service was. And I know um, my neighbor called the utility commission and she said the same day they came out and fixed it. It is one of those LED lights. That may want to have been what happened because my, my neighbor was bragging on us and saying it was so bright and, um, and I really ne never noticed it change until I was sitting outside with the children and noticed it. So that may have been what happened with us. That's good because we typically get the opposite of them. They're so directional, they don't get their hands in the light. So that's good. All right, so it's a good report. 
All right, thank you so much. And now we will hear from our water and our reclamation departments for the key Good evening. On our water lines, um, one of the issues we had last month was fire hydrants. We had four fire hydrants get hit last month. We had to rebuild. Um, on the contractor that's on the work of the Jeep project, he's winding down the first part of it. There are uh, a couple of change orders that will be coming later on, but he has uh, just about wrapped up the first part of the project. Um, and on our water plants, uh, we had lead and copper testing last month. Uh, Collected all those samples and turned them into the state the first of the month. So that's a good, really turned out to be a good process. Uh, as far as our reclamation side, um, we had uh, 9,606 feet of 8 inch sewer main that we jetted and cleaned, uh, pressure cleaned uh, 67 manholes. That was a pretty good month for those. Down at our plant, we uh, got our, we call it a DMR QA study, which is a wet test that we have to do every year. Uh, we passed it with the flying colors, and we had to send that to the state. Okay, well, I compliment you on passing with flying colors. Okay, thank you. And, and our general manager. Well, I'd just like to commend the staff for uh, its job well done on uh, putting together the budget that was presented to the guys last week. Um, I know it's a new process for them, but they, uh, they've taken on the challenge and I'm certainly encouraged by the work they put into it. I'd also like to commend uh, Ms. Luna on her efforts economic development over the last couple of months. She's worked uh, some extended hours with the Peach County Development Authority and she's certainly putting in some hours with the I-75 quarter. Hopefully those things will, will start to pay off uh, in the near future. Um, I'm open to any questions. Do we have any questions about that manager? I don't know who to direct it to but I apologize need to get caught up on budget discussion I'll do that privately before okay we'll say our next we'll, meeting if I need to I think we're going to meet I third we'll, we'll, we'll try and we'll try and work out something prior to that yeah. our next meeting is Thursday right? mm -hmm. this Thursday mm -hmm. our next budget <coughs> he said he would and he would any other questions for our general manager? All right. Uh, the next item is old business. We have no old business, unless there's some from you. And if not, uh, we'll move on to our new business. And our new business calls for a MEAG annual subscription for supplemental power, amended restated gas supply contract, and miscellaneous fees. Pleasure regarding the MEAG annual subscription for supplemental power. Uh, normally authorize the chair to sign and return. Is, is this the order of business for today? Do you need a motion? Yes. I move that we do as we've done in the past and authorize the chair to sign that document so that we can sell excess power. And I second the motion. It's been properly moved and seconded that we will uh, receive authorization for the chair to uh, sign the annual subscription as usual. Do we have any questions regarding this? 
If not, then I call for the vote. All those in favor, let it be known by show of hands. Abstain. Okay, the marriage is abstained. And, um, okay, uh, thank you. Our next item is the amended and restated gas supply contract. All right. Okay, in your package you have a draft of the amended and restated gas supply contract. So let me explain to you what uh, this contract is doing is uh, municipal gas authority uh, has come to all of its members, made some modifications to the uh, master document which governs uh, your, your gas supply contract, which allows you to work together for long-term extended uh, gas at a reduced rate. Um, I talked to uh, Peter Floyd, who's general counsel for MGAG today, and I said, Pete, what would the practical effect of turning down this amended and restated gas supply contract be? And he said, well, if you did that, then we would lose the benefit of uh, the combined resources of MGAG in terms of, it's, this is not a standalone document. In, in his words, the Utility Commission can say, no, we don't want to do this. This is a document that's been presented to all of the members, and all of the members will have to approve it, otherwise it, it, it won't pass. So, um, going through the document, uh, there are a variety of changes. I can take the changes uh, in detail, or you had an opportunity to go through them like, and answer any questions you may have. The highlights of the, of the document essentially are it changed the manner in which um, disputes were resolved between the internal um, members of MGAG and also um, MGAG versus internal members. Uh, it starts out with a very informal, then it goes to mediation, then it goes to binding arbitration. Binding arbitration would take place in Fulton County. Um, it also provides um, some additional language that has to do with in indemnification in the event of liability. And this arises from a case that, um, that Smyrna, Tennessee uh, town filed against MGAG. And what the document does is uh, it clearly defines the relationship between the parties so that um, one member in of MGAG is not suing the rest of the members of MGAG through the MGAG corporate body, so to speak. In other words, you're not suing yourselves. Uh, it clearly defines uh, that the master uh, company or, or the parent company or the essentially the co-op is, is not identifying and holding you harmless, nor are you identifying them and holding them harmless. That's another major feature. Um, it has multiple small revisions to the master agreement. You'll notice in a couple of places. It um, replaces some um, language uh, that's permissive with an imperative. For example, on page eight, it says at the top, such projects and purchase gas cost projections may be amended, it's deleted, and it comes in. So project projections and purchase uh, gas cost projections will be provided. Um, so it does that. Also, the reports that are being given to you, um, you'll notice there's some changes on how frequently reports are given to you by MGAG. They had gone from monthly to an on an annual basis. That's a cost reducing uh, measure. Um, you will also notice that it changed some of the services that you automatically receive as a member of the MGAG. One of those services that previously was in there was a cost of, uh, cost of services study. You notice that they changed that language slightly so that it's uh, not technically defined as a cost of services study. Um, so really it appears, and I've not represented many MGAG um, entities, but it appears that a lot of this is uh, simply cleaning up an older document, uh, making some revisions to clarify some language, and again, um, primarily the largest change that affects you is to, to define the legal relationships between the individual members and also the, the corporate body of MGAG. So if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer your questions. Uh, this is an up or down vote by all the members, as I understand it, from Dr. Peter today. My recommendation is that if you wish to be a member of MGAG, then you 
certainly should pass this. Otherwise, I think that you should rethink your entire relationship. And that's not a good idea, in my opinion. And I think Craig's just about to kill me for even saying that. You get tremendous cost savings for being members of the board. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, a part of your signature ease left off the document. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, part of our signature ease left off the document. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing no place for signature except the mayor and the and the city clerk, which is the city administrator. Well, there, do we not? There, um, the city it will be presented at the city council on a resolution, and there's also a resolution for um, the utility commission. Where so if you look on page 24, you'll see the signature pages for um, 25 would be the. Yeah, I don't have I'm so sorry. I guess I have the entire restated contract. Let me look and see what's in my old agenda package. Because I was getting confused. Which page are you referring to? No, uh, the document, the resolution that you're talking about, there's only a place for the city. It's on page three. It's page three of the document you gave us. Package. But there's no. There were two. There were two resolutions. There's one for the city, and there's one for the utility commission. Except this one is in the place of the one for the utility commission. There should be a signature page floating around for the utility commission as well. I thought you would leave me out on a limb by myself. I am. Uh oh, I've been called. I'm sorry. I should have known better. Okay. We'll make an adjustment. Okay. All right. Any other questions or observations or comments regarding this? All right. Then um, I believe we need to call for a vote. Your recommendation um, yes, after decide absolutely. we want to continue our relationship or we want to sever the ties. It's not recommended that we would want to if, sever the ties. If, 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 if you may. You're going to read it. You're going to do it before you read the document? Before you do that. I have the document that was delivered. Um, you will, I'll pass it to you. You'll see a resolution of the city of Fort Valley and then you'll see a separate resolution of the Fort Valley Utility Commission. So they're, they're, they're I don't need to see ours. I got a copy of ours for that. Yes, and I had reviewed ours Thursday night. Thursday night. So I'm, I am saying that I have reviewed the resolution that Fort Valley Utility Commission is executing. It's my recommendation that you execute. Okay. If I'm in order, you are. Oh, I'll make a motion that we approve the contract and authorize you to sign it. All right. We read the motion. Motion to second. Second. All right. So we have a motion on the floor to approve the contract and authorization to sign it. Um, any other questions? Then I call for the vote. All those in favor, let it be known by show of hands. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like to see the document. <laughs> okay. Um, the mayor is abstaining. Motion is passed. Did you pass this? This is my copy. I'd like to have it back. All right. Any um, any other questions regarding that? Um, Mayor, you, I guess we can address your concerns. Can we back up and, and I vote? <laughs> Too late, huh? But uh, I, I just think we ought to have seen the document. All right. We take that under advice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The next agenda item for the business is um, miscellaneous fees. We're going to ask our customer service manager, Mr. Roach, to. These are the fees that we went over the other day in the work session. I think it was like 2005 last time we adjusted any of our fees. <coughs> so it's much needed. And of course, we would post all these and publicly advertise that we would make it in this one day. All right, and I think each of us has had the opportunity to review the um, 
recommended fee structure and some discussion around it. Um, we vote it. Yes. Okay. Can I get a motion, please? I move that we approve the recommendation. Second the motion. It's been probably moved and seconded that we would approve the recommendation. Are there any questions regarding uh, this motion? This I don't have a question, but I, I do have a comment. Um, and I know that this, the uh, rate, all of us who pay bills to the Utility Commission will be getting a copy of this. And because some of these are slight raises in fees. Um, I just like for everybody to be assured that uh, you, you uh, did make sure that our fees are in line and in most cases lower than, right, in some cases much lower than. I, I, can, I can assure you that there's a they are. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they really are. Appreciate your having done that homework so that people will be aware that these are very, very fair rates. Okay. And when we use the term rates, let's clarify that these are not additional cost for utility services of gas, water, and electric. These are miscellaneous rate changes um, that we are discussing. Any other questions? Uh, just specifically your fees for miscellaneous the services. Various services. Various Late services. charges, et cetera, things like that. It has nothing to do with raising utility rates. Okay. Any other questions? Any other comments? Then I call for your pleasure on the vote. I'm sorry, did we get a second? We did. Okay, we did. I'm sorry. Copy your pleasure on vote. Okay. Okay. All those in favor, let it be known by your hands. All right, it's unanimous. Now, um, that is all we have on the agenda. I do notice that we have some of our friends in the community here, friends and family, and I would like to take a moment to acknowledge you're coming out in the worst night I have ever been here <laughs> to be with us. Uh, we appreciate that so much. And if either of you would like to um, um, see us or visit with us at any time, feel free to, to contact us. We are, we're here for you and we're here for each other. And we appreciate it so much. We thank each of you for being here. Um, thank the staff. Thank uh, all of the, all of the um, commissioners to come out of the storm. And even my friend, Mr. Thomas. That, that, that's my Griffin line mayor, y'all. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> but I thank all of you for being here. It's so good to see all of you. I see um, uh, the friends who walked this morning. I want to especially take a moment to acknowledge the community's um, effort today in a special um, commemoration of the 9-11. We did a, a, a walk around town, a ride around town, and in the heat of the morning, uh, we cannot forget what people did and how people suffered in the 9-11. Uh, the, the world suffered. And we want to take a moment before we close this meeting, if there's nothing else uh, to do, let's just bow our heads in a moment of silent prayer. But that will never happen again in our, in our county, in our community, in our nation. Thank you, and I declare this meeting adjourned. Be safe.